Tesla, and in particular, Elon Musk, just hired a bunch of new engineers for the Cybertruck. Why would you hire new engineers for a product that has already been finalized? Well, there's a very good reason, and it makes complete sense. This may feel like a bit of threat, a bit of a threat to its current engineers. I mean, I probably would feel that way if I was one of them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking Cybertruck. Uh, there's a, a bunch of news about the Cybertruck today. I'll have a separate video about all the news about the Cybertruck. But I thought this was the most kind of relevant, interesting thing that to come out within the last 24 hours. There's a lot of excitement about the Cybertruck, as there would be. I mean, Americans are getting ready to get their first deliveries. You're going to start seeing these driving on, around on roads, which is just crazy. I mean, this is really... It's such a wacky vehicle. I love it. It's wacky, mental. It's it's just it's just awesome, really. But anyway, why did Tesla just hire a bunch of new engineers? First of all, nearly two weeks ago, Elon Musk sent an email to everyone at Tesla where he basically told employees and executives what the requirements for making the Cybertruck are. He was really being particular about the panel gaps. There was this reference to the Micron in terms of the gaps very, very tiny gaps he's demanding that they basically improve the quality. The CEO explained that the straight edge design requires parts that must be built with incredible accuracy. That email didn't reveal any new things about the exoskeleton design, which appears to have been sort of dropped in a way. So really the truck will end up being more like a unibody vehicle with a structural battery in its floor. But as far as I know, that means it's still a pretty damn good vehicle. People are saying, ah, oh, it's no longer an exoskeleton, therefore it sucks. I mean, do they say it sucks about every other car that's being made that doesn't have an exoskeleton because no other car has one? No, it's still actually a really compelling vehicle and does use giga castings. So therefore that will definitely help reduce the weight and make it stronger, make it have less flex. Definitely things you want in a pickup truck. The ultra hard cold rolled stainless steel, which is also used by the way by SpaceX in their rockets, were apparently panels that were never supposed to be bolted onto the frame together and are now presented as the most incredible thing about the vehicle. And well, to be fair, they are incredible. I love them. Now, because these panels are not out of aluminum and because they're completely straight, the car is very unusually shaped getting them into the precise shapes that is needed. In other words, bending that steel correctly and having sharp edges is complicated. Now, Elon Musk has revealed he definitely believes that the Cybertruck is a tough and challenging vehicle to make. That's why he referred to Lego blocks that fit nearly perfectly all the time. That's what he wants, basically like Lego. Now, of course, Lego toys are made out of plastic, not stainless steel, so much easier to make things out of plastic using molds can't just use molds in order to fix this solution. Now, he actually mentioned sub 10 micron accuracy being the goal and whether or not that's possible to achieve, I don't know, but it's good to have a big goal. I mean, shoot for the moon. If you get halfway, then you've achieved something amazing. Tesla pickup trucks have been spotted being hauled around the US and it showed that the fit and finish I thought was actually pretty good for this new revolutionary steel bodied product, cold rolled stainless steel, very, very hard body. Uh, I think it was not that bad. It's been criticized though. Some people are saying the, the panel gaps are too wide. Now, Tesla are currently hiring in Texas. If you want a job and you're an engineer, well, you might be able to get one. And they're filling engineering roles for the Cybertruck. Tesla says it aims to build a group of skilled dimensional engineers who have to work in a fast paced manufacturing environment to produce world-class vehicle quality. These engineers will have to measure the Cybertruck panels, check for unwanted deviations, find a possible cause as fast as possible, log their discoveries, propose and implement corrective solutions, and keep in touch with other departments. Tesla is attempting to add more skilled engineers to the production line that can accelerate manufacturing without lowering the build quality. Apparently, they're producing around 10 Cybertrucks per day. They want to increase that number but improve the gap, the panels gaps, just basically improve the entire car in every way possible. Some people are saying this is too late. I mean, Tesla should be hiring them now, it's a joke. Uh, the fact that they're doing this now means clearly the Cybertruck has been delayed. The launch won't happen. The, the world is coming to an end, essentially. Now, I don't think that's the case. 
I think Tesla just wants to get things right, make sure the quality control is higher and hire the best people they can to do that, to basically fill that role. However, could this mean production will be slower for a few months than we thought it might otherwise be? I believe it will be. That's the most likely scenario. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.